45,000-year-old human remains found in the Bulgarian cave. In a Bulgaria's Bachokura cave, which was already known to have houses Neanderthals, more than 50,000 years ago, researchers have discovered the remains of ancient humans that date to about 46 to 44,000 years ago. These fossils, a molar and six pieces of bone, are older than any previously analyzed fossil of Homo sapiens, which were found in individuals who lived around 45 to 41,000 years ago. The discoveries in the cave also provide evidence that modern humans overlap with Neanderthals who didn't disappear from the region until about 40,000 years ago. Note that the Neanderthals are thought to have made ornaments with the eagle challenge material around 130,000 years ago. 7,000 old skeleton unearthed in Indonesia reveals a non-human group. Jakarta, Indonesia archaeologists have discovered the remain of 7,000 old skeleton from a female hunter gatherer in Indonesia that has a distinct human lineage never found anywhere in the world. The relativity intact fossils which belong to a teenager age 17 or 18 was buried in the fatal position inside the lineage panage, a limestone cave in the South Sulawesi. It was found among artifacts from the Tolipians people and early culture of human gatherers in the region. The remains are the first non-skeleton of the Tolians. This is the first time anyone has reported the discovery of any human DNA from the vast island region between mainland Asia and Australia. It's very rare to find any human DNA in the human tropical region. That's why this is such a lucky discovery. Analysis of the DNA revealed that the woman was a part of a population group related to a modern-day Papians and the indigenous Australians. Pharaoh Sennacher's Skeleton Pharaoh Sennacher ruled during the third dynasty of the Old Kingdom, although the exact detail of his rule and succession are uncertain and difficult to verify. What is certain, however, is that his skeleton provides evidence of the oldest known case of gigantism on the earth. Signs of accelerated growth in the skeleton, with the exception of the skull, indicate that Pharaoh Sennacher suffered from the condition and likely died at an age of at least 40 to 30 years old, a early death. Another one is Shandong skeletons. These skeletons were buried approximately 5,000 years ago and compared to the average height of a full-grown adult in innocent China. They would have been considered unusually large while 6 foot 3 is hardly shocking by today's standard. It's more important that the average size of human during this period of time was much lower. A particularly interesting detail is that the largest of the skeletons were buried in the nicest tomb, indicating they were held in high regret. Catalina Island Skeletons The Catalina Island Skeletons is the largest skeleton in the world. During the year from 1990 to 1928, Ralph Gladden excavated around 800 grave sites on Catalina Island, several of which bore skeletons over 6 feet in length. The tallest was said to be 9 feet 2 inches, and Gladden claimed that they belonged to an advanced race of fair haired Native Americans who inhabited the local islands. Many people accused him and disrespecting the dead in order to garner attention, but the German naturalist discovered an 8-foot skeleton in the area as well.